Hello friends, today we are going to talk about LB-Link Router Setup. First, you have to switch on and connect your router primarily to your device and then you have to fire up any available browser and you have to type in there 192.168.16.1. Then you will get a security pop-up for admin, username and password. This IP address will be written at the back of your router and this admin, username and password is also written at the back of the router you are trying to manage. Now you have to put your admin, username and password here. You can, of course, change this afterward. Then you will be redirected to the home page of the router management console. Here you can find several tabs like quick setup, operation mode, network, wireless, firewall, virtual server, QoS, means quality of service, management, reboot, etc. And each and every tab has its own sub tab. The first tab is quick setup tab. Here you can find the quick setup menu. You need to read the instruction carefully for correct setup procedure. Here if you click on the next, you will be redirected to the connection setup menu that is DHCP, static mode, PPPOE, L2TP, PPTP or 3G. You can select any of these connections according to your ISP. If you have a, a dynamic host control protocol type connection, you have to select the DHCP connection. If you have the static IP type connection, you have to select the static IP mode. And if you have point to point protocol over internet type of connection, you have to select the PPPoE or you can select the L2TP, PPTP or if you are using a 3G USB modem, you have to select the 3G USB modem from this menu. Now, if you select the DHCP one, on clicking on next, you'll be redirected to the SSID and password section according to your ISP. You have to put your username and password here, SSID and password. But if you have the static IP connection, then you have to select the static IP mode and then you'll be redirected to the IP setup page. There you can put in your IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, domain name server, primary and secondary both. And then you have to click next to proceed. If you are using a 3G USB modem, 3G or 4G USB modem, you have to select the 3G connection and then you have to click to the next. And then you have to select the ISP from the drop down menu. Loads of ISP is listed here. And then you have to fill in all the pin code, access point name, dial number, username, password, according to your USB modem requirement. Now, if you go to the operations mode in the next main tab, you will find the operation mode in bridge mode, gateway mode and access point client mode. Now you have to select the mode according to your requirement and you need to read the instruction and the functionality carefully for better operation. Now, if I go to the network section, I'll find the LAN setup page where I can get the access and control of the LAN functionality. Now, if I go to the WAN setup section, this is the subsection under network tab. In this section, I will find the static IP information that is required for a static IP connection. And I can manage the connection from here as well. I can find all the options as the first page we have seen. Now, if I go to the routing section, here I can find the devices those are currently connected with my device with the LB-Link router. You can find all the connected device. Those are now getting routed through this router. Now, if I go to the DHCP setup, this setup is for DHCP server. And let me explain you if your router has several Ethernet output port, gigabit Ethernet output port, you can set up this to serve those ports means the router will be acting as a server for those Ethernet ports. And you can view and manage those port addresses with the help of this DHCP server setup page. 
few more setups are here like ARP binding, Mac cloning, these setups are also available. If we go to the wireless section, here I can find the basic operations mode like radio on off, network mode, SSID, broadcast SSID enable or disable, frequency selection means channel frequency selection, channel bandwidth selection, guard interval, like all these controls are available here. Now uh, let me show you what happens if I switch off the radio because you can see the radio is switched on here. Radio means the transmission of this router. Now if I switch off the radio means the transmission of this router. Let us see what happens. You can see it is immediately disconnected. Means the router is not transmitting any kind of Wi-Fi signal. Now after getting that radio switched on, I can again connect to the router with the same procedure. From the network mode, you can select and manage the mode you want for network trans reception. You can enable or disable the broadcast network name from here as well. You can select the channel frequency according to your requirement whatever is applicable in your case. If we go to the advanced tab, you can find few more controls over here like transmission power, a BG protection mode, country or region code. And if I go to the security section, you can find all the security controls are available here like SSID name choice, security type and a security mode, security password, access policy, adding a station Mac, this kind of controls are available here. Now if we go to the WPS section, you can enable or disable the WPS settings here. Firewall can also be tweaked from the firewall control page. Virtual server, quality of service, all these controls are available here. Quality of service is very much important for distributing your network through Wi-Fi or through the Ethernet port available with the router. Now if we go to the router management page, you can find the basic controls of the router management console like language setting, admin, username, password, current zone, zone time, etc. All these controls are available here. Have a look up all these controls. You can view the statistics, you can view the router statistics from here. This is the system lodge. From reboot section, you can restart the router for any kind of changes to take place. So this was the overview of LBLink router setup page. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video. Till then, keep watching. Let's talk with Chandan. Have a nice one.